YouTube, this your boy down low back with another reply. This one is to Lecrae, Church Clothes. And you know what? Lecrae is one of my favorite rappers out there, man. And I try to not classify him as a gospel rapper because skill-wise, he can compete with the best of them out there. He just happens to want to rap about gospel. And overall, this track is fucking amazing. But truly, you have to call it a track because it's not a song. It's not complete. And that's the only thing that messes it up. Like, if you create a hot 16 to go over top of a hot beat, then you have to take the time to complete that track. You have to take the time to create the hook, to create a bridge, to create the second verse or the third verse. Because truly a complete song can go farther than a incomplete song. It becomes more marketable. But the main thing that I really like about this track is the substance matter that he's talking about, man. Basically saying how churches do not accept you if you don't dress a certain way. And that shit is true and it is some bullshit. Because I don't know where it says in the Bible that you have to dress a certain way in order to get love from Christ. And the churches have always been on this bullshit, man. To the point that they have never really supported rap ever from its existence. Until Kurt Franklin decided to start rapping. Then, oh, it's okay to be a rapper now. Man, it is really sad to see the hypocritical nature of a lot of people, man. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is about rap tools, in which we all have our own formula that we like to go by in order to write lyrics. Me personally, I'm an old school type of dude, man. I cannot write songs unless I got the pen and the pad. Now, there are positives and negatives that come along with the pen and the pad. The positive is that if you write it in ink, then most likely that paper is going to last the but the problem is organization, because it's going to become very easy to just straight lose song, because you're going to be writing so many. What I like to do when I write my songs in my notebook is I number each page. And on a cover sheet of paper, I list the songs that I really like, because I write a track every day. But there are other ways in which you can write your song. Like my homeboy Controversy. He writes a song with his Blackberry, I do believe. That's cool because it helps out on your organization. And it helps out with your ease and accessibility to rap. But when you depend on technology, it often will fail you. Just like Controversy, he ended up cracking the screen in his Blackberry, losing a whole bunch of songs that he wrote. Basically, you have to develop your own style of writing your songs and use whatever tools you got at hand. But also be prepared for the positives and negatives of your style. 